Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching you all at home how to green screen. Now this is a technique, the official name for it by the way is called chroma key, um, but it's really easy. Today I'm going to show you how to do this in ScreenFlow and in a future class I'm going to show you how to do the same process in Final Cut Pro. And before we get going with the software I want to give you a few pieces of advice and also show you what equipment we used uh, when we were doing this. We don't do green screen in our videos anymore um, but I want to show you what we used and it, it worked pretty successfully um, so as far as equipment goes um, it's not that outrageously expensive um, and by the way links to everything you will find in the description of the video um, so the first thing is we have these um, large lights called cowboy that's the name of the company that makes them cowboy studio lighting um, we got a set of two of them um, depending on what you're doing for your project you might want two or three um, for for the true the best type of lighting out there you would want three we just have a really really small space where we record um, for two lights we paid seventy five dollars um, then of course you need the green screen itself um, you don't need a fancy green screen okay this this is a really kind of it's a generic fabric um, but it works really well um, so they have a couple different sizes I'll put a few of them again in the description a uh, six by nine foot green screen was twenty dollars a 10 by 10 was twenty eight dollars so not not terribly expensive um, the most expensive piece of equipment actually that we use um, is we use this thing called a ring light and if you've ever seen for example uh, images of models where you see this kind of halo effect in their eyes um, that's called a ring light it's a circular uh, CFL bulb basically um, the one that I use is dimmable which is really handy it's especially good if you um, if your subject has pretty eyes. I, I was born with pretty uniquely colored eyes. They're like green yellow, um, so they really kind of bring out the color. But they actually look really really good also with people with um, like different tones of brown eyes. So you don't have to have just blue or green to look good. Um, they actually look really really good with everyone. That particular product uh, is two hundred and sixty nine dollars. So you can see by far that's the most expensive. And then um, as far as camera goes, uh, we use a, uh, actually it's my old Nikon, um, but uh, there's plenty of great cameras out there that can do photo or video. I'm not going to really comment on those today. Um, two other things. Uh, if you're looking for the background images, um, you can do, like I said, either a still image or you can do video. Um, I want to give you a couple of options to explore. Again, links in the background. Um, so this is videohive.net. It's part of a company called Envato, uh, and they make these, part of what they do is they have these background motion graphics, um, which is the best kind to use for this particular thing. So here on videohive.net, you can see we have all of these different categories here. Um, I, when I'm looking at them, I pull from motion graphics background. Um, and you can actually just put your cursor over any of these and you'll see kind of what it looks like in general. So like they have some that are meant for backgrounds. That's not one of them. Um, and you can, um, you know, like, let's just take a look at this one. It should probably uh, be noted um, with all of these backgrounds, the audio is not included. You have to buy that separately. But then again, if you're just using it as a background, you're probably not going to want that. So you can kind of explore their website. Another one I wanted to give you is this really cool website. Um, that sells virtual sets. Okay, so for those of you out there who have ever watched uh, Tosh.0 or if you've watched, um, it's of course here in America, or The Soup, uh, anything like that, or even, you know, your morning news team, wherever you live, um, a lot of them have started using these virtual sets because they're, you know, easily upgradable. <laughs> you just download a new one. Um, they're really inexpensive for what you get. And um, I'm going to show you how to do this whole thing here because you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, why is there a big green thingy there? I thought we removed the green. I'll show you how to do that too. Um, so check out their website. They have some really, really amazing products there. Um, and I uh, talked to the people at the company and they seem to be very, very easy to deal with too. So um, let's go into it. I have kind of a blank uh, canvas here for ScreenFlow. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of move this over. And I have some footage from a, a shoot that we did a while back. Um, we didn't end up using it, but it's just some footage of me in front of a green screen. Okay, <laughs> great. 
still there's no such thing as ending on a good frame here so i'm just going to look ridiculous um and you can see this is not perfect the, the green screen is all wrinkled you can actually see a little bleed behind it this is um uh, behind it, you can see a little bit of stuff on my desk. We just put a green screen basically in the rafters here um, on a pulley system and just lower it down in front of my desk. I have a very, very small recording space. So um, the first thing we need to do is just simply tell it that this is a green screen and watch how easy that is. So here on the right-hand side where we have all of our little tools, we're going to be here on the very first tab, the video tab. Scroll down to the bottom, and here it says video filters. We're going to click on the plus symbol, and the first item here is chroma key. Just like that, it removed it. Now, right now, there's a black background, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this up just a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to just play a couple seconds so you can see one of the little issues you may run into. Now, note my hairline up here, okay? See, there's a little bit of a green tint. Right now, you know, it's a little bit noticeable. When I start to move, you'll probably see it more. And so you do have the ability to fine tweak that. And I want to show you how to do that. Fine tweak, fine tune. Sorry. So if you scroll down further here, you'll see that they ask you, you know, specifically what color are you deleting. By the way, I should probably mention, and amazingly, for whatever reason, this doesn't affect me. If you have really, really green eyes that are similar in color to the color of a green screen, they do make them in other colors, um, specifically blue, um, because typically those shades of green and blue are ones that you're not going to find in most clothing or people's you know eyes of course so if you have that issue you can always go with blue instead um, we have these three um, little tools here to fine tweak it we have a white clip and you can see here if I kind of dial it back you can see that the background starts to come back and I tend to fine-tune this for each shot okay so you just kind of want to get it generally pretty decent that there actually looks pretty good uh, the tolerance, okay, same deal, and this seems to more affect the hairline. So watch, as I kind of start to creep it up, no more, if I even go further. Now, sometimes you can go a little too far and it ends up cutting into clothing, that kind of thing. But that right there actually looks pretty decent. And then we have the angle of the green screen, okay, that's another element here. So now when I play it, it should look a little bit cleaner. Let's see how it looks. Not bad, just a little, little bit off the very, very top of my hair, but not very noticeable. And when you're in front of a virtual set, you're not going to really notice it. So now let's talk about how to make this interact with a second image. So I'm going to kind of drag this off to the side, and I'm going to grab, this is the uh, clip that I purchased from the uh, virtual set company. And I'm going to just drag it here into my clip. Hey, there it is. And um, what you can do with these, you, you want to find, before you start um, duplicating this clip, you want to first um, kind of set everything up. So um, you'll see that right now in the background we have this, you know, TV, looks like an HD TV, and that's where you'd put, you know, the name of your clip or text, whatever you might do. And uh, we need to tell it to also green screen that color as well. So what we're going to do is click on this clip so that it's highlighted. Once again, go back over here to the right, hit the little plus symbol, and we're going to hit chroma key again. Now, when you first do it, it's going to distort like that, okay? Don't worry, just scroll down a little bit, and what you can do is where it says color right here, see, it's currently, it thinks gray. It thinks gray is that color. We can click on that, and what I do is instead of using this little box up here, just put your cursor where the green actually is in the clip and click, and you can see, perfect right off the bat. You do not need to do any refining for that because that is a solid color. Okay, there's no, um, and it's not a real image, it's digital. So uh, what we're going to do now that we have that all set up, okay, I'm going to kind of move it off to the side here so I don't, um, it's just easier. I'm going to secondary uh, click on that clip. Actually, just do the easy way. Just copy, okay, move your playhead to the end, paste, 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 however long you need. And now what you can do is you can select, just click and drag to select all of these clips and just drag it over. And now you'll see that, hey, there I am in front of the virtual set. Um, as far as moving me right here, all you do is click on your first clip, which is me, and just drag it over to the side. 
Okay, and um, in case you're curious, it's typically better when you're dealing with green screen. You you chroma key. You really want to shoot wider rather than you know too far in. Um, this is one of the issues that we ran into because just I said we have a very very small production space here. Um, so if you're if you're shooting at a very high resolution, you can always crop in. Okay, um, but in this case, this is <laughs> this is as far away as I can get right now. Um, and that's it. So then if I wanted to put in a second image, it would be really just as simple as, you know, grabbing an image and just making it proportionate to this fake HD TV set. And that's it. That's how you do chroma key here in ScreenFlow. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you happen to be watching us on YouTube, we really appreciate it if you click that like button. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you enjoyed it, whether, of course, whether you're on YouTube or our website. And keep in mind, if you ever want to take our live classes, we have uh, free live classes that we offer every Wednesday and every Saturday. And the only way to take them is you can go to our website at pcclassesonline.com. You'll find all of the info there. This is David A. Cox, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Class dismissed.